Guys, this is Palm with Probox Respect TKO. I'm at the MTK Global Show in Brentwood Leisure Centre with the British welterweight champion Bradley Skeet. Bradley, good to see you, brother. Good, mate. And you? Yeah, how you doing? You all right? Yeah, all good, mate. Yeah, enjoying the boxing. Yeah. Um, one of your... Um, is, he, is he a stable mate of yours, Lewis Adolfi? He's not. Well, we, we was in the same uh, amateur gym together at Oswald. So, yeah, we could let like, grow up together in Oswald and, yeah, support, supported him for his pro career now. Yeah, he's, uh, that was a good performance from him. He looked yeah. very strong there against yeah. the uh, Lithuanian guy. He was quite durable as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, yeah. Um, and Louis has not been in the ring for over a year, so it was good for him to get 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 the cobwebs off and get a good six rounds under his belt. He looked, he looked sharp and he didn't look like he's not been in the ring for, for over a year. So yeah. it's it's good for him now to get to get momentum and, and build up and from that and then kick on now. Bradley, this is the second MTK show, quality shows by the MTK guys. Um, and, and you were here at the first one and yes. this is the second one. Um, it's nice to see you out and about, you know, supporting the guys and you're very friendly and approachable. So, um, you know, and, and like I said, you know, this is, and I, and I believe your second defense of your British welterweight title is going to be here, right? Yes, yeah, it's here, yes. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's here, so. But you were due to initially fight on the 20th of May? Yeah. At the Copper um, Box? That's it, yeah, that's correct. Um, it all started, I was, May the 6th was the original date. Um, I was topping the bill there, and then um, it got changed to May the 20th. Um, that show got uh, cancelled, and then it got moved to May the 20th. Uh, uh, Walsh and Davis got made then. That's right. And I was uh, going to be on the undercard then. Uh, the opportunity to, to box um, here on my own show. So they, they moved me to uh, June the 2nd. So here you get to top the bill, That's it, main yeah. event and stuff. That's it. Um, how's your training going so far, mate? Yeah, really well. Um, yeah, some great sparring, um, some, some great work in the gym. Um, been, been doing some good stuff with my strength and conditioner. Um, yeah, this, I've ticked all the boxes. Um, this, this, this is my second defense of my British title. So it's, it's, it's the belt that I want to keep out outright. So we've got to make a successful defense and then one, one more, more and then it's mine to keep and that, that's my main main goal at the minute. Uh, regarding your uh, training camp, have you stayed you, you stayed local or have you gone away at all? Nah, yeah, I stayed at, at the Iron Box gym in Bromley. Um, we travelled a bit for some sparring and sparring's come to us, but uh, yeah, I've, I've stayed, stayed at, at, at Iron Box. Uh, at, at Box. Yeah. Any, any, uh, any notable uh, names you've been sparring at all, mate? Um, big, yeah, just um, well, there's, there's a, whole, there are a whole bunch of lads in our box we have been mixing okay. in and helping out. One of them, Ron Richards, he's boxing um, tomorrow on, on Frank's show. That's right. Um, he, he's, he's definitely one to watch out for. Um, I've uh, done a few rounds with O'Hara Davis. That uh, was a good spa. He, yeah. He's, he's, he's a great fighter. Um, Josh Kelly, who's obviously in the Van Booth um, on the up. On the up. Um, definitely. Great prospect and, and definitely one to look out for. Um, yeah, mi mixed in with some, some good, good guys. So. I, I think you was at, um, and you were in fact, but both you and I were at Lorraine's uh, last fight as well. Yeah. Uh, which was good, and he needed the rounds and stuff. Yeah. Um, do you see Lorraine putting on a, a slightly different performance this time round? Yeah, um, I think in the gym he, he's been, he's been uh, pick, pick, like working off where, he's le where, where he left off from that fight. That's um, right. He needs to pick it up. Um, he knows he needs to pick up. He's got it all there, he's got all, all the skill in the world. Um, so yeah, he, he don't want to go in there, crash, bang, wallop, and when he don't have to, but when he can get guys out of there, he needs to pick it up and get them out of there. And so I think if he gets the opportunity, that's what he'll be looking to do. Absolutely. Going back to your fight, um, so on 2nd of June, um, how much do you know about your opponent? Uh, um, you don't really know too much about him. He's, he's got a good record of things. Uh, at 25 fights, he's only lost one. That loss was to Sam Eggerton. Um Yeah, he's, he's a good fighter. He's, he's mandatory for the British title, so he, he's, he's, he's up there. So I just got a beat who's been put in front of me. So. Um, to be honest, I, I, I'm, I'm levels above him and, uh, and they're showing on that. Are you, what sort of fight are you expecting from him? Or, or maybe even yourself, what are you hoping to sort of put out there for the, uh, for the uh, you know, to, the punters? To, to be honest, I just got to be the best me. Um, the best me beats the best him. So True. He, he, can either, he can either come and either go and, and, and try and fight me, which I could deal with. He can try and box me and no one domestically can outbox me, so it, it, it's, it'd be interesting to see what he's going to bring. Um, but like I say, I, I think after I'm levels above him, and uh, it's going to show him that. 
I know Bradley, um, you know, as much as I know you, you're, you're a nice guy and you're not one to sort of, you know, call out the names, but yeah. obviously you mentioned Sam Eggington. Yeah. Uh, and, and previously there was a very disputed loss to Frankie Gavin. Yeah. Are these potential fights for you down the road? Possibly. The thing and I've dealt with Vega and I, I went up to Egan's backyard, I went to Birmingham and, yeah. and beat him for the British title. Yeah. And, and I beat him well. Um, no, I can't take it with him. From then, he's gone on to stop the likes of Gavin, Paulie Manaji. Had a great win um, last weekend, winning the European title. Exactly. Um, devastating knockout. So he's doing his thing. I'm doing mine. If if we meet again, then we meet again. But I, I've dealt with him already. So yeah, I mean, th there wouldn't be any reason really to meet him again unless it was you fancy the European yeah. title. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Exactly. Um, but what about what about Frankie? Frankie, to be honest, like, I don't want to sound disrespectful from, from, from him beating me, he hasn't done nothing. He hasn't, he hasn't, oh. he hasn't, he's, he lost to Kelvin, obviously Kelvin's a world champion, he boxed a world title and he, he got beat there. Then for me, the icing on the cake was he got stopped by Egerton, who, who I previously beat and, and beat well. So it, there's, for me to box Gavin again will just be because oh I lost to him oh I've got a win against him like, like, when I'm, like, so it's it's just where's it go from then then it'd be one all then it'd be another fight to prove sure. and it, to be honest I, I'm 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 looking forward not backwards and I think that we'd really be looking back to be honest if I it was like if I was to fight him you've obviously you probably sit down with your your management Frank Frank Warren where do you sort of um, see the next probably say 12 months, 18 months. Yeah. Um, are you hoping for a world title shot, mate, within that time? Definitely, um, I, I'm ranked very high with the WBO and IBF number four with both, with both. so um, I'm, I'm, I'm ranked, ranked high in the world. Um, I've got two fights ahead of me at the minute at British level. So yeah. I'll win, win these two fights and win the British title right, right. Then look into step more feet in, in world level, get some meaningful fights and then, then move on to, to try and hopefully fulfill my dream of winning, becoming a world champion. Excellent. Bradley, it's always a pleasure to see you. I know you was here to uh, support Lewis. Um, if you need to shoot off, that's absolutely uh, fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, um, are you are you, you said you're at the Copper Box tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'll be at the Copper Box with Ron Richards is fighting. So yeah, we get down supporting the Ron. And then, uh, yeah, you're looking forward to the rest of the, the, rest just, of the show. Just a quick one for you. How do you see the main event, Javonta Davis versus Liam Walsh going? I really, really rate uh, Walsh. Um, I've not seen too much of Davis. Obviously, he's, he's blew up since he's, he's won the world title, and, and I see that fan. He looked really well. He looked really good doing. Really it. strong doing. Um, he's highly backed by Flo Mara. Well, Flo Mara's not going to waste his time backing someone if he don't really got it. Um, I, I, I see it as a, a good fight. What, what's probably swayed me is, is the way in today. Um, he, he, he found the weight, so yeah, he I know took him three attempts to Yeah, he shouldn't really look too much in, but. To take some of three attempts to, to get down to the weight, it, it, it must be struggling to do the weight. So, um, yeah, I, I favour Walsh. Well, listen, we I think, um, you know, having met Walsh a couple of days ago, he's a really, really nice guy. Yeah. Um, funny enough, he, when I interviewed him, he, he predicted the weight. I yeah, don't know if he knew something we didn't. There you go, yeah. Um, there you go. And, and, and then I read earlier on, it was three attempts before yeah. he made the weight. He'd take confidence from that. Definitely, he'd be buzzing, he'd take confidence from that. And then that little bit of confidence might be the edge he, he needs to get that with. Well, let's hope uh, Walsh does it tomorrow. Yeah. Um, thanks for your time no today, worries. champ. No and I look forward to seeing you nice at the top of Take you. care, bro. Cheers, mate.